And we're back to learning Gib, and this time I'm going to show you it with the text effect. I've got a simple color palette right here that I'm going to use, and a white background. Let me use the color picker right here. I use the bluish color for the background, and then I left click with the bucket fill tool to make the background this bluish color. I go to the top layer, then I use the text tool, left click on it, I press Ctrl A to select it all. Let me use the color picker tool, and I select this. Black color, I'm gonna make it bigger, let's say 350. So the text layer is on top, I'll make the color palette invisible, and now I copy the text and I drag it downwards holding control. For this canvas size I use four text layers in total. I'll bring back the color palette and I use this yellow orange color. Let me select it with the color picker and I go over the letters for the second and maybe the fourth text layer right here. I'll make the color palette invisible. I'm at the top layer, so it's active. And now I use this merge function right here to merge all of the text layers to one. You can align it with the alignment tool, but it's not perfect. So if you use it on the background, you can see it won't align it perfectly. So you'll have to adjust it manually anyway a little bit. I guess it's because of the bounding box and the nature of the font that I'm using. Let me select the text layer and I put it a little bit on top so that it looks like it's in center. We can work with that, I would say. Text layer is still active. And now I go to filters, distorts, and I use whirl and pinch. Check the preview, and then you've got these three scales. Forget about the clipping or the blending options, we don't need it for this effect. So just leave it unaffected and you can see the clipping, it doesn't have an effect. But the world does, don't go too high or it's going to make your text unreadable. If you go into the negative, it's going to twist in the other direction. So the positive values are counterclockwise and the negative are clockwise. For this case, you want to stay let's say from minus 100 to 100, something like this, but definitely don't go higher than 150 or it's going to become unreadable. The pinch, it's going to adjust the part in center. And you can adjust the radius right here. For the radius, you can go very high and the text is still readable. You can see that due to this whirl and pinch, your text is going to be a little bit bigger now than your canvas, or at least in my case here. So use the scale tool, you can also press Shift S for that. And then I'm going to scale it down while holding control. And I confirm by clicking on scale. And I'm a good. And that's generally the process that I would use to create this twisted text effect in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.